What's going on YouTube? Here I have my EDC items and I'm going to pick the essentials I need for my day-to-day -day tasks as a carpenter. You know, not everyone's EDC setup is going to be the same. Some people work HVAC, plumbing, or even different jobs or different needs or wants in their EDC setup. And I want to kind of show you what mine is and my thought process behind it. Up first, I'm going to say essential is a knife. I cut open a lot of packaging of different materials, lumber straps, you name it. And one thing I need is a knife that is sharp. Well, none of mine are sharp because I keep on destroying them. So this is a Roku. Nothing special. I believe these are about 20 or $30. And it's spring assisted. It's a nice knife. Overall, it has a glass breaker. You know, you don't need to spend something like major like this Benchmade Griptilian. Uh, so here's a Benchmade Griptilian. I love a full-size knife. I like a good handle for a good grip. And, you know, that's what I'm going to say a necessary item or essential item for me is, is a full-size knife. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and lay that back here. Now, this is an Amazon pry bar. It's made out of titanium. It has a pocket clip. And so I bought one of these to try it out. And I would say I don't usually use this even though I pull a lot of nails all the time. And that's not something I, you know, care to hold even though I do work construction. So I want to say a pry bar is not a essential. And all these items are listed down, down below in my Amazon links. Uh, there are some few items that aren't on there because either one they're discontinued or they don't make them anymore <clears throat> Now I have mixed emotion on EDC lights. I do use them from time to time So depending on my situation sometimes I go into buildings with no lights and it's nice to have a light when going into small areas and so I definitely want to get a new one and I want to show you this Fiat electric light this thing I got for like twenty dollars and it came with two from Costco but here it has a high a low and if you double press it will turn red flash red green and blue and the only disadvantage of this flashlight is the size of it you can see the bulkiness of it and I uh, really like slim you know flashlights in my pocket that don't take up a lot of room especially if I'm carrying a knife or a multi-tool wallet key cell phone it's a little bit too much even though it really isn't that big but I love the functionality of having a red flashing light just in case of emergency you can notify someone where you're at maybe put your flashlight in the window to blink red and here's a stream light I love this flashlight I used to use it every day it's about $30 it's rechargeable and here's the light it's not overpowering it's just enough to get the job done and I believe the battery life is about an hour and a half on high and three hours on low which I feel is very good it has a hat clip belt clip you know great overall flashlight especially for the money up next I have a Narwalco pen now I would say this is up there in things I need daily, signing paperwork, signing a check. So, and it has a pocket clip, which I'm a fan of. Help Helps things be organized in my pocket. Here is a Milwaukee Sharpie. Uh, these are about $1.50 or so at hardware stores, and I tend to pick them up every now and then when I need them. So just your basic Sharpie and I like carrying these because writing notes, measurements, uh, making marks on different material. So I usually carry that in my pocket. <clears throat> now if your multi-tool doesn't have a screwdriver like the Gerber Dime, I would probably suggest carrying some sort of screwdriver or and or flathead. Uh, there's plenty of times where I need to fix a little something or tighten something and a Screwdriver always comes in handy. This is only about three dollars and fifty cents. Great addition if you need a Phillips. 
here is a Leatherman Free P2. I feel like this is a great product. It really works well. And I feel like it really outshines this Leatherman Skeletal. You could just see by comparison of the pliers here, these are skinny and fragile. I've actually broke two of these already. And with Leatherman's full, uh, lifetime warranty, you can send it in, get it fixed, and they'll send you your multi-tool back. But one thing I do know is this is a simple version, and I definitely like having more tools, even though I don't use them all the time. I do like that it has changeable bits, but in some cases, I just prefer flipping open the right tool for the job. So here's the free P2 once again, sorry about that, but it's magnetic, uh, open and closing. It feels like a quality tool. This is quite a bit more expensive than the Scalo tool. Has replaceable wire cutters. I don't use those all the time, but here's the knife, uh, knife blade. Pretty sharp great little knife blade. I don't really care if I have serrations or not. I find them quite useful when cutting straps and things of that nature. And if you listen, you can kind of hear the magnetic close. And next to that you have a Phillips bottle opener, flathead, or a pry bar. And you can see on this side it has a thickness to these tools and I feel like that's a good durability factor when using those main tools there. Here on the other side, I have the scissors. You know, I've got papers, elastic bands, zip ties within it does fine. A file, flathead, an awe plus a smaller flathead. Another flathead plus a wire stripper and a measurement tool, even though I don't think anyone uses those. And a can opener, so that's pretty much all the tools. And I find it useful to actually have different size, you know, flatheads because not everything is made for a bigger flathead to get in small places. So I definitely enjoy when I have this multi-tool and I can get the job done right then and there. Now I feel like this can be someone's EDC. It's definitely not for me even though it has had some use and it does work well. I find a needle nose pliers on a multi-tool way more useful in my life and some people say well why don't you have that I do have it and I don't find it useful for what I do you know sometimes if I have to pull a nail out of a nail gun or you know get in somewhere tight these come in handy now I don't always carry this in my pocket I usually store my lighters in my vehicle in case I need one or a co-worker needs one. I'm not burning stuff all the time. I don't see a need to hold it. Here I have some bandages that have been uh, sealed up. And I keep a medical kit in my vehicle. So if someone does get a cut or I cut myself, I always have it on hand. But I don't think medical items are necessary to carry on you at all times and then here I have a Travax wallet I've been trying this out for a while this is the original 2.0 and I believe the G10 I don't know if I'm a big fan of this I thought I would be but it seems to be a little scuffed up for the short amount of time I've had it it has a pry bar I think this is for a lanyard loop bottle opener and it's a little difficult to, you know, dig through your cards, but I felt like it was better than spending 120 on another Ridge wallet. <clears throat> now a notepad. Yes, I find it useful, and sometimes not. Sometimes I'll just use my phone to take a quick note of things I need or take a picture of a note that I have made. So I don't think I need those, but these are my selection for what I need on my day-to-day you know items I don't feel like I need a pocket organizer even though it is kinda nice to have a cool little setup but you know if you just outline these things with the pocket clips on your thing easy to access quick access you know there's not too much to it but thanks for watching this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out those Amaz Amazon links below 
if you click on it add it to your cart and purchase it it helps my channel make money which i don't make very much money but i'll see you guys later